Labrador Retriever are popular and friendly dog breed known for their intelligent, loyalty and energetic nature. With both male and female Labrador share many common traits. There are notable differences between the two genders that potential dog owners should consider. In this video, we want to talk about 10 differences between male and female Labrador Retriever. A brief history about Labrador Retriever. The Labrador Retriever, often simply referred to as the Lab, is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world today. Their history dates back to early 19th century in the Canadian region and Newfoundland. Not Labrador, as their name suggests. The breed's ancestors were initially Select Capital ST John Dogs, after the capital of the Newfoundland. These early dogs were used by fishermen and settlers for various tags. They were known for their exceptional swimming ability, which made them ideal for retrieving fishing net and lost gear from the cold water of the North Atlantic. Their webbed feet, water resistant coat, and a strong build made them natural swimmers. Number 1 Size and Weight Male Labrador tend to be longer and heavier than females. On average, male weight between 65 to 80 pounds and the sound around 22.5 to 24.5 inches tall. Will female weight 55 to 70 pounds and have a height of 21.5 to 23.5 inches. Number two, temperament. Females are often described as more affectionate and attentive, making them great companion for families. Males can be more independent and many exhibit stronger territorial behaviors. Number three, energy level. Both gender have high energy level, but males can be slightly more energetic and playful, requiring more exercises and stimulation to provide restlessness. Number four, Aggression and dominance. Male Labrador might display more territorial and dominant behavior, which could lead to aggression toward other dogs. Female Labrador are generally more accepting of other dog and animal. Number five, train and ability. Both genders are highly trainable, but females often much are mentally faster, making them slightly easier to train. Males might require my patience and consist training. Number six, marking and house training. Male Labrador are more prone to marking territorial indoors. Females are generally easier to house train and may have fewer accidents. Number seven, neutering and spank. Neutering male Labradors can help reduce certain behavioral issues such as the territorial aggression. Spaying female Labradors help prevent head cycle and related behaviors. Number eight, heat cycles and behavior. Female Labradors go through heat cycle twice a year, which can affect their behavior and attack male dogs. Males might become more restless and eager to roam during a fameless heat cycle. Number 9. Shedding and coat maintenance. Both gender shed year round, but females may shed slightly less. Regular grooming and brushing can help manage shedding and keep their coats healthy. Number 10. Bonding and attachment. Females often form stronger bonds with their owners and may be more affectionate. Males can be loyal and well, but their independence might lead to a slightly less cleanliness.